Dr. John Gold is a geneticist from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. He is working with Sea Image to study the impacts of the oil from the Deepwater Horizon blowout, as well as the dispersant used during the cleanup, on population-level genomics of fish in the Gulf of Mexico. So the kinds of things that we do ask questions about how it's impacted the future of those species in terms of the kinds of genetic changes that have occurred, how that's affected the number of individuals that are actually reproducing successfully, and things of that sort. His lab will be studying red snapper, an important fishery in the Gulf, as well as golden tilefish and king snake eels. Golden tilefish and king snake eels live in the sediment where some of the oil and dispersant has settled. Gold says the impacts of that contamination are relatively unknown. Their research is more focused on the future of the Gulf's ecosystem. He says genetics can't show the immediate impact of the oil. When you use genetics, the basic questions are how has this impacted the kinds of variation that allows for adaptation to new types of environmental situations. So our, basically our question revolves around not what's going to be in the next year or two years, but what can we expect over succeeding generations. And in the case of the fishes that we study, generations range 10 years or more. So a lot of what we do really has immediate but much more future application. One of those future applications is the creation of a data repository that will be available to scientists worldwide. Gold discussed the difficulty of making a before and after comparison in the case of the Deepwater Horizon spill. There was not a lot of data from before the blowout. Gold's work now is ensuring that this will not be the case in the event of another Gulf disaster, whatever that disaster may be. Under Sea Image, the amount of biological material being archived is tremendous in terms of tissues, organs, We'll archive all of our DNA, we'll archive all of our uh, genomics database, all that stuff will be there so that there's a tremendous before should such a disaster occur again. But in truth, it doesn't really matter in terms of the disaster. It could be anywhere from hurricanes to oil spills to whatever you can think of. But the amount of material available serves as a repository so that people can look at transitions. Dr. John Gold is one of the many scientists working to understand the impacts of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill as well as collect information about the Gulf of Mexico for future scientific research. Please visit the Sea Image website for more information about his research and the undertakings of his fellow Sea Image scientists. It's been fun and I hope it continues to be fun. <laughs>